morning good morning it's uh 4 20 i just got to la fitness right now you could tell my voice is a little bit off uh that's not an excuse it's not an excuse i did some honey and some tea slept good i understand what it means to take care of myself if i want my body to take care of me and get me to where i gotta go i was driving down right now and i was listening to to a message and it talked about how lessons in life prepare you for what it is that you are intended to do how without that experience you wouldn't know how to deal with the growth, the finances, the kids, the wife, the business, the dynamics of life. I was away at prison, and I say that because the whole time I was there, I, I, I treated it in my mind as if I was away at a university. And my job, my obligation was to come back with some type of education. But I always knew that without money, see, the money is not the root to all evil. Money is a necessity of life. Not having money is the root to all evil because when you don't have money, the things that you'll do to get it are in itself evil. And I was concerned about my financial situation and I, I didn't want to come back to prison. I didn't want to be in that situation again. I did not want to turn that into some type of revolving door. Um, and I thank God every day I, I have not. Um, but I ended up running across this guy while I was in there. And we had this idea to sell drugs, sell weed, sell cocaine, heroin to the other inmates, to the other population. I remember I was doing a transaction with another person, two persons, and security had came up on us. Long story short, I ended up getting another three years. The reason why I bring that up is because this message I was listening to was talking about Joseph in the Bible and how he had been lied on by his brothers. Um, he had been lied on by Potiphar's wife. And, he, and, and essentially what that did was lead to his being imprisoned. But while in prison, he ended up meeting a butler. And now the butler introduced him to the king. And that ended up getting Joseph inside the doors of the kingdom when the famine broke out. And Joseph was in charge of the, the, the national growth, the, 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 the biggest thing that was of value at the time, which was food. And the same people who had betrayed him, he was now in a power, a position of power to help them. But I got three more years while I was in prison and the officer lied on me. You know, and that's not to say I wouldn't have got the three years for um, the drugs. But there was a little bit more put on that. And I, I, don't, I don't harbor any hard feelings, not towards the officer, not towards the situation. Now, I'm a firm believer if there's anything in my life I could do over, I would not do it because it could erase my kids. It could erase my relationship with my wife. It could it could erase the path that I'm on now. And I, I, I don't want to disrupt anything that's going on now in my life because it's a true blessing. And had I, I would never have been able to see back then what my life would be now. 
it, it doesn't come without its trials and tribulations, but the experience that I've endured through gives me the, the knowledge and the faith to know that this too will pass. But being lied on, and I believe I was close to coming home at that time, being lied on, and then being close to coming home, and then going from a super minimum security facility to a super, super maximum security facility was zero to 60 real fast. Going from a minimum yard getting ready to go somewhere to go into where they put the worst of the worst at. And I made it out alive. See, if you don't keep one thing in mind, keep this in mind, that whatever it is that you're going through is preparing you for something else. It is building your capacity to deal with it. You know, I had this talk in my mind that I, I am probably going to talk with Malachi about and, 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 and I can take my business of real estate and I can relate it to this. Some people will trust you with one house because they feel like you have the capacity to deal with that. That's fine if that's all you want. But if you want to ever work with the people who, ha who want to trust you with the capacity of 20 homes or an investment portfolio, then you need to build up your capacity to deal with 20, 30 homes at one time versus still staying in the capacity of one. And the only way you can build your capacity is by going through some things and having that experience and those trials and those tribulations that build you up for that moment where you get to shine, that builds you up for that time when you get to go the work that you do in the dark is what brings you to the light and allows you to shine. Had that officer not lied on me, had I not had that fear of lack of money, I would have not have gotten that additional experience that had ultimately instilled in me and said, listen, you're going to make it out of this, but I need to go ahead and show you one more thing because I just don't think you're ready. You're getting ready to hit the door and you're doing this shit. Tell you what, let's go ahead and step it up 10 notches from anything you've ever seen, and then let's go home from here. Had I looked at that situation in any other way than, than I did, I would not have fully grasped the full concept or the full experience of what was being shown to me, is that when you go through things that are hard, you become better. But when you go through things that are hard and you become uh, spiteful, you become angry and you become bitter and you start deflecting and you start uh, neglecting responsibility, then you, you essentially are telling everything in this world, including God, that you are not ready for the next level because the next level brings new devils. And if you're not ready to handle the next level, then you will stay where you're at. And if I had to tell my son Malachi, I'd say, listen, I know that you want to quit, but here's the deal. Every time you quit, you are stopping the progress of, of the experience that you must get on the way to where it is that you want to go. I know it's painful, but you got to keep going because it's not always going to be clear right now how it's going to prove a benefit to you down the road. Joseph was lied on. I get it. But his being lied on and in prison ultimately pushed him into his destiny. Now, I'm not saying I'm a Joseph at all. But I am saying that I'm a child of God. And I know that if he takes care of the birds of the air, how much more will he do for me? You got to come to reality and come to grips with what it is that you're going through and take some responsibility in that and say, this is a part of my process. This is a part of the experience that I'm going to need to rely on in the future that's going to help me, that's going to allow me to determine between making a left or making a right at that intersection of life. It's possible.
and he talked about potholes. And just as you're getting ready to get to your destination, it feels like you hit a pothole. Just when everything's going smooth, you hit a pothole. You dip down. Well, I hit a pothole. I thought I was coming home. I thought I was going to have all this money that I had got illegally. And he said, not only am I going to take this, but I'm also going to show you something else. I need you to remember this. The baddest of the baddest, the worst of the worst. Stay blessed. Take care. Understand that these lessons is not meant to hurt you, meant to build you. But it's all about how you see it. Take care.